Hello everyone. Most of the students are confusing with the downloading of Cisco Packet Tracer. In the last video, actually, I have explained you one procedure, but all the students are not not get the Packet Tracer application by that procedure. Here, I want to uh, explain the one more procedure to identify the Packet Tracer application from your application itself, from your login itself. So let me uh, first the first step is a you just type Cisco Packet tracer and uh, you, which is providing so many collection of uh, resources courses related to the cisco packet tracer the first one is a cisco packet tracer a uh, learning collection you select the learning collection so learning collection will open the, this corresponding window this is the corresponding window for the learning collection you click over the current uh, learning collection and here you have a uh, one uh, uh, one new page will be get open so you come to the come down and you go to the, uh, click over this link, get started with the Cisco Packet Tracer. You click over the, get uh, get started with Cisco Packet Tracer. And one more uh, window will get opened with Cisco Packet Tracer course. Now for this course, we had to, uh, we had to enroll. We had to enroll. I already I have enrolled so that I have a resume course. If you are not enrolled, uh, in the same place you have a enroll for the course. Okay. Uh, I just want to continue with the resume. And the first chapter of the course available with the link to download the first chapter itself, 1.0 itself it has a link to download the packet tracer application. Here we have the link Cisco NetAka resource lab download. Uh, click over the corresponding link. Again, we should open the one more window. And in this, from this window, you have a uh, the three, three corresponding versions of a pa packet tracer application. It is support that application support for the Mac OS, Ubuntu and Windows. Uh, for the 64 bit you can download and install the application and after so many students already installed the application even though they unable to uh, open or start the exam what what happened what is the error in such uh, such cases uh, and actually uh, you are frequently using google chroma let us consider you are frequently using google chroma you started exam from the google chroma also you download the packet except from the google chroma and then after you want to re-attend the exam for packet tracer. Now that obviously which is give the same kind of error. There is no packet tracer application. You have to reinstall. In case, if you are uh, in such case, you change the browser to the Mozilla. Mozilla. Otherwise, if you are frequently using the Mozilla Firefox and you download the application from the Mozilla Firefox browser, and also you are start to write the upload, start to write the exam also from the Mozilla Firefox. Maybe you will get error. Then you have to change the uh, change your browser to the Google Chrome. So only the solution is that try to change the Google Chrome, try to change the different kind of browser. After installing the application, if you get the same kind of error, the uh, it, it, it is because of there is a saved cookies or uh, history will reflect the same kind of error. You, otherwise, you clear the all history and cookies from the corresponding browser. That also make you allow to write the uh, packet tracer exam. If you find any kind of issue after even installation, better you change the browser or you go switch from the Mozilla Firefox to the Google Chrome, Google Chrome to the Chrome to the um, Mozilla Firefox. Also, you can use the Microsoft Edge. So any one of the browser you can able to use. And uh, if you get this such kind of error, change the browser. That is only the one solution. Even if you are getting the error, then you contact me. I will try to resolve your issue. In the last date of the uh, uh, completion of all the exams are 30th October itself. There is no change of date. You have to complete all checkpoint exams. All checkpoint exams followed by final ITN uh, uh, packet tracer exam. Then after final exam. And uh, before final exam, you also give a uh, feedback for the examination. I think uh, a few of the uh, practice exams I have removed from the list. And uh, you need to focus on ITN final exam and uh, also final exam of complete course along with the course feedback. And the uh, checkpoint exams also you need to complete. Then you will get a certificate of a module one. And remember, the course certification you cannot get automatically. The course certification you cannot get automatically. I should evaluate your complete checkpoint exams as well as your packet tracer and final exam. I uh, uh, I should also verify are you getting a proper percentage or uh, that expected percentage is a 60 percentage from all the minimum get the pass from the or get the certificate minimum you should get 
you should get the 60 percentage and above para above from uh, overall percentage that i it is recommended for the overall percentage then only you will get a certificate and that i should need to, need to be verified then i will generate the certificate for you that people whoever they get greater than 60 percentage they will get certificate overall percentage from the certification course okay yeah. and like from the fisco uh, from coursera uh, after you complete the course you will get certificate automatically in this case it is it is actually there uh, actually the course is uh, instructor or uh, in instructor guidance and instructor enables are need so that you cannot get certificate directly so this is uh, about uh, uh, maybe if you those are students are facing the problem with pa packet tracer the next i will explain the packet tracer practice session practice environment sessions